Hi guys. So present perfect and past simple. The two tenses that for some reason, for some completely unexplained reason to me, uh, usually find themselves next to each other in a book, in, a, your, in your grammar book. And what happens is confusion at best because you get to see these two tenses, one of which is present, the other one which is past, next to each other. And you're trying to make sense of them, trying to think through the eyes of the past when it's actually impossible. Because when you think about the past, you think about the past. But when you think about the present, you think about the present. So putting these two things together actually causes more confusion and more mistakes than anything else. So for example, I usually get um, this one question. So when we use the words like yesterday, two days ago, three months ago, can we use it with present perfect? <laughs> and the immediate answer has to be no, for a very, very simple reason that present tense and past uh, words like yesterday, two years, two years ago or three months ago, just don't fit together because they belong into different worlds. There's a world of present tense and there's a world of past tense and they need to be separated. Otherwise, it doesn't make any functional sense whatsoever. Let me show you the ex let me show you some examples. So I've broken my leg and I broke my leg. So I have broken my leg is a very, very simple information that right now my leg is broken. I cannot walk. I need help. This is information about what's happening now. I've broken my leg. It is not information about the action of breaking the leg. It is the information about the, of, about the state from today, for now, for right now. In terms of the other one, I broke my leg at the gym is a detailed information of where the breaking happened in the past. And here we can say at the gym yesterday, last night. And what we see is somebody in our imagination, what we see that it's somebody actually breaking their leg. So I broke my leg yesterday at the gym, happened in the past, and we actually see somebody doing it in our mind's eye. But we are only talking about yesterday. We are talking about the action that happened. I've broken my leg means my leg is broken right now. I need help. I broke my leg yesterday is telling the story of what happened yesterday. Present, past, two different tenses. Next example. Um, I've been to the shops and I went to the shop. I've been to the shop or I've been to the shops informs us that I've done my shopping, which means that the fridge is full. And whatever I needed, I already have at home, so I don't have to worry about it. So this is information about what I have right now and not about my journey to the shop. Well, this is the information about my journey to the shop. I went to the shop, but I have no idea if I bought anything or I went there because I left something there the day before. So this is about the past and what happened in the past, but not information whether I bought something or not or whether my fridge is full now or I need to go to the shop again. Present, the fridge is full. Past, I went to the shop. Yeah, I drove there, I went there by tram, whatever. Third example, I've passed my exam. We usually say that when we say, look, I've got the result, I've got my grade or I've got my pass or I've, I've got my diploma, hooray, look. Or we are using this to inform somebody that we have a degree. We, 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 for example, we have passed the exam and we are a doctor now, right? So we can practice medicine. So this is information of what qualifications I have for now, right now, and nothing to do with test taking. While here, it's all to do with the test that I took last year. So I passed my exam last year because last year is when I was taking it. And since then I've been a doctor. Yeah? So I passed my exam last year. I am talking about what happened a year ago, but I'm not informing you whether I still have the same qualifications, whether I have bigger, higher exams, or if it's still important. It's just informing that last year, somebody gave me a grade, which was a pass. Next one, I've tidied up my room. It's fantastic information that your child can bring to you. So I've tidied up my room, mom, which means that the room is tidy. 
So it is not important how, how long, you know, who tidied up a room. What's important is the fact that the room is tidy right now. So you know anyone can go in there and it's going to be nice and tidy. While I tidied up my room yesterday is a pure information of the action of tidying up the room a day before, which means that right now it can, there, can, there can be a mess because the room was tidy yesterday because I tidied up yesterday. So here we're talking about what we did yesterday. Here we are talking about the state of the room today. Okay, I, have, uh, I haven't read this book. I haven't read this book. This is the information to you that I have no idea what this book is about. I haven't read this book. I have no idea what's written there. I know no information there. I didn't read this book last summer means that I am telling somebody that last summer, for example, in my holidays, I had some books, but I, re I didn't read that particular book then. So I am talking about the books that I read last summer and the fact that among these books, the book that we are mentioning, uh, simply wasn't there. So I've read, I haven't read this book means I have no information what's in it. I don't know the book. I didn't read the book a year ago or last summer. It means last summer it wasn't on my reading list. But after the summer, maybe in the autumn, I did read this book. You never know. Here, ah, and that's it. That's all of them. So what we need to remember really and what it comes down to is the fact that present perfect is present which means now present perfect is a present tense that gives um your speaker an information uh of what's going on right now of of about the state that's happening right now yeah i have broken my leg which means i cannot walk i've made some tea which means you can drink i've cooked dinner we can sit down and eat but this is the information about right now, about the state right now. If you want to use the past, you can always talk about the past. So yesterday, two days ago, three years ago, I went there, I spoke with him, I saw this or something else. But this is re referencing the, the person who's speaking to you uh, or who's listening to you to the situation that happened in the past. And it's nothing to do with the state of today. So I hope you enjoyed this film. Please give me uh, a like or, you know, press the like button. Um, I would love to hear your opinions or your questions. Send me as much as possible. Um, and come and join me on my Facebook uh, Top Potential and my Instagram Top Potential and YouTube Top Potential. See you very soon. Take care. Bye.